Hi guys, Alec Pierce, Scuba, Vintage Scuba, once again, here I am back, and uh, again, it's our eighth series. I can't believe we'd be doing this for all that length of time, but it's been a lot of fun. Met a lot of wonderful people on uh, the Vintage Cuba channel from your comments. I love it. Keep them coming. And today we're going to talk about fins, fins, you know, on your feet, fins. Voight, big, big name in the 60s and 70s. There were five big companies back then, and Voight was one of them. Probably bigger than, uh, than most of the rest of them, as big as U.S. divers, better known as Aqualon. Voight was a big company, and uh, you see this is their packing. This is the original box. Not very good shape. Nope, nope, not really good shape. 60 years old, work with me on this. <laughs> Do you still have the original box your fins came in? And what does that box, I didn't think so. And they have a, a, a diver over here with a spear gun and a big fish and fins and all that kind of stuff on it. You need to remember that at that particular time, spear fishing was the sport. That's right. We didn't go scuba diving to go scuba diving. We didn't go scuba diving to take pictures. There weren't no cameras. We didn't go scuba diving to explore shipwrecks. We didn't go scuba diving for all, any of the reasons that we do today. We went scuba diving to spearfish. Yeah, very, very common. And then the sport has evolved from there. But anyway, let's talk about these fins. These fins are pretty neat. I'm going to pull up one of these out of here and look at it. And you'll see why I chose this fin, why I say it's pretty neat. You have never seen a fin like this. I know that you haven't seen a fin like this. Oh, boy, they're in good shape too, Kevin. Better shape than the box. Boy, odd little fin, huh? Quite common, this particular shape and design. Can you see that? In the, no, it's not too black. Okay. Full foot fin. Yeah, very common back then. Even for scuba divers, even in cold water. A lot of these fins came from California. These five big companies I mentioned, all from California. And uh, the water was cold there, so they had to wear wetsuits or dry suits, not, not the dry suits we have today, rubber, thin rubber dry suits. And they wore full foot fins. Many times they wore a full foot fin on their bare foot, but that would be cold. The water out there varies between 40 and 60 degrees. That's Fahrenheit. That is, uh, whatever that is in, in uh, Celsius, it's cold. Uh, but to some of the divers, they would wear something on their foot. What was quite common was a sock. Yeah, ordinary cotton sock. They put a tight sock on their foot and then put the foot in the fin. And then uh, maybe some of the uh, uh, divers had a bit more money and they would actually get a, a, a wetsuit boot. A little thin. It weren't like today. They called a wetsuit sock. It looked like a sock. Yeah, no sole on it. No zipper. None of that stuff. Just a piece of neoprene. They just pulled over their foot and into here. Uh, but this is a very, very typical fin from the 60s. And as you can see on here, and, uh, and it's, it's often the case they had a special name for their fin. This is called the Voight Seahawk. And if you take a little look there, uh, Kevin, I'll hold it still, you'll be able to see, uh, there's the Seahawk. Now, I have no idea where they got the name Seahawk. Sound like a good uh, thing. Maybe because hawks can swoop and uh, dive and swirl around very well. They figured that's a good name for their fins. So they called this the Seahawk. And they even had somebody make a picture of a Seahawk to stick on their fins. Quite common back then. A very, very popular and common Voight V6 Viking fin. Had a picture of a Viking ship on it. Not sure what, what that has to do with the fins, but it has. So there's a fin, and it's very, very stiff. Quite heavy, quite heavy, quite heavy. A pound and a half, two pounds, you get three pounds of fin, at least on your foot, at least that much. Very, very stiff. Very stiff. Might be pressed to, uh, bend. well, you can't bend it, a stiff rib down each side and these funny little extensions on the side that look like ailerons on, a, on an airplane. Uh, but anyway, there you go. There's an old vintage fin. I wanted to show you those because they're pretty weird. I do have uh, three uh, fins to show you, though. Let's get rid of those. <clears throat> and I, I want to show you these three fins. Now, this first fin is actually from the same company, good old Voight. Yeah, yeah. A little later, a little later, and uh, this particular fin is, uh, here's the box for this fin, very similar. Swim Master, actually, but it's the same fin, made by Voight. Uh, Swim Master, and again, we've got our diver over here uh, with a pair of fins on, and these are the same fins as in the box, and he's got his mask, and he's not a scuba diver this time, and uh, he actually has, uh, for some reason, it seems he has captured, or at least is hanging on to a turtle. Now, another thing I need to explain before you environmental types, and I am very, very concerned about the world's wildlife and the environment as well today. 
But again, back in the 50s and 60s, <clears throat> there was an abundance at that time of uh, underwater life and as scuba divers and skin divers, we enjoyed that abundance of wildlife a great deal. We went spearfishing, abalone hunting, and pismo clam hunting, and uh, big fish, small fish, octopus. We ate octopus all the time. And yes, we ate turtles. We actually did yeah, back then for a long time ago. Things have changed. And uh, just because I say that there's a skin diver with a turtle, please don't jump on my case. That's the way it was. So there you go. And let's see what these fins look like. These are pretty neat. Now, these fins are called duck feet. I, I don't know. I don't know. Pick up your own story. Okay, they're called duck feet. And these were a famous fin. Uh, yes, they were a famous fin. This fin was actually uh, the fin that was uh, adopted by the, uh, the, uh, the U.S. Navy, other navies as well. Uh, because it, I guess at the time, it was a popular fin. Uh, very, very sturdy, very, very strong. And, uh, and as you can see there, Kev, again, if you want to slide in a little bit close, you can see that uh, this is called duck feet. I'll hold that for a second while you show duck feet. And then keep the zoom on there. I'm going to turn it because I, I want you to look at this. You see that? Giant UDT model. Hey, we're not fooling around here. This is, this is the fin. Pure gum rubber. Oh, yeah, no fooling around. Whatever that means. <laughs> and uh, so this is the famous duck feet. And um, giant UDT model. Now, if you're not familiar with UDT, it's a, it's a naval term, military term. It means underwater demolition team. That's right. They were very early, early on, there were very special teams of trained divers. And, uh, and some of the uh, military experts were, were given the designation underwater demolition team. And so they were very, they were considered to be very brave, very strong, very good divers. And so to put giant UDT model on this fin, pretty much guaranteed it was going to be a successful fin. And it was. Very, very famous fin. Many thousands, maybe millions of divers use this fin. I can, I can name a few. I can, uh, myself. How's that for a start? <laughs> yep, this is my first fin. I bought a pair of these fins from Honest Archie at Central Skin Divers in Jamaica, New York. And uh, these are kind of a special fin. Are you ready for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a story behind these fins. Some of you guys will recognize these right away. There you go. There you go. Brand new pair of fins. Is there a label on here? Yep, sure enough. I need to get that label there just to show it to you quickly, Kevin. These fins, you got that picture up there? Americano, is that what it says? Americano? These fins, as you can see, are red, white, and blue. Sure, they don't have to explain that to you. And red, white, and blue, of course, are the, uh, are the uh, very popular. Uh, well-known colors on the American flag, and, and red, white, and blues has a has a very U.S. Uh, connotations to it. In in about I think it was 1974, 75. Kevin will correct me. He'll put a picture on about this. And uh, so they came out with a set of Americana scuba gear. That's right. And uh, it was distinguished very simply by its color, red, white, and blue. So they had a mask. Nice mask. I think it was their Pacifica mask, typical oval mask, red, white, and blue. Um, <clears throat> they had a snorkel. They had a knife. And they had two pair of fins. Actually, there were two masks, two snorkels, one knife, and two pair of fins. The one pair of fins, which is fairly common, is the uh, rocket fin, the famous U.S. diver's rocket fin. This pair of fins is not so common. This is the, they're famous, they had a, they had a quite famous fofo fin called the Otari, Otari, you can see it on there. And uh, so they took their Otari fin from their lineup and they made it red, white, and blue. So they had uh, two masks, two snorkels, two pair of fins, and a knife in their Americana set of fins. And this is a brand spanking new set of the Otari red, white, and blue Americana fins from 1976. Not very common. Very, and there, there are a few of them around, don't get me wrong, if you have a pair, great. But uh, they're not very common. You try to find a pair of these today, I think you'd have a hard time. There's a brand new pair. I thought you'd be interested in seeing those and a little bit of the history. But now they're collector's items. Genuine part of vintage scoop. So there you go, guys. Three fins. Actually, four, but three fins. Okay. Alec Pierce Vintage Scuba. Hope you enjoyed that. Keep the comments coming. Talk to you soon.